hey, I'm Brandon Hilgeman from ProPreacher.com. Every church would love to have beautiful sermon graphics, but not all churches have the money to afford to hire a professional graphic designer to create custom graphics every time they launch a new series. So today, I want to show you a way to make beautiful, professional-looking sermon graphics for free in under 30 minutes. If that sounds interesting to you, keep watching. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to canva.com. Canva is an awesome online free graphic design tool. Now, there are some paid elements to it if you want to get into some of the paid features that they have, but for the sake of making these graphics, I'll show you how you can do it totally free and still come away with a great design. So the first thing you're going to want to do is sign up for a free account. I just linked it through my Facebook here. So boom, bada bing, bada boom, and I'm in. Here is what it looks like when you first log in. It tells you right on the top here to create a design, and they give you a whole bunch of different options and templates to choose from that already look beautiful. And if you want, you could just select it and edit the text, and you are done. Check this out. If you click on the plus button, here's some popular design types. If you want to create social media posts, presentations, etc. For the sake of creating sermon graphics, you're going to want to have a high resolution, large picture that has multiple different uses. So what I recommend is if you scroll down a little bit, you have the option to create a desktop wallpaper. So let's just for the sake of this, let's click on that. All right, so here it's bringing up the editor for us. Now let's say we're preaching a sermon series and we're going through the book of Proverbs and we are talking about a whole bunch of different wisdom sayings and how you can live a better life. We're going to call our series Wisdom Secrets to a Better Life. Now if you see over here, you have a whole bunch of different layouts. And some of the layouts have a little, a little tag on it that say free. Others, if you look at this one, you highlight has a little tag that has a little money sign. The ones that have a money sign do have premium elements in it that are gonna cost you money. So if you click on the free one, like this one, keeping it fresh, this is completely free. If you click on this one over here with the money tag, you'll see the Canva watermark pop up. That means that this picture with the watermark on it is a premium element and you would have to pay money if you wanted to use that one. So you'll see there's some awesome looking ones that are going to cost you a little bit of money if you want to pay a few bucks to to do it if it's worth it for you or if you want to go completely free you have awesome options that are totally free all right so for the sake of this example let's just pick one over here here's a free one all right so i selected this free template right here and if you wanted to if you don't have a lot of graphic design experience if you don't want to do a lot of work, you could literally just type in your title here. And be done with it. Whoops, added a new page. You could literally just type in your title and be done with it. You could tweak the fonts a little bit if you want to make a word bigger or smaller. You could play around with it if you want. The editing tools here are actually pretty powerful, very similar to most graphic design software out there. And if I wanted to, if I'm happy with that, boom, I'm done. Let's say you want to get more in depth. You can pick another template that you think looks nice, but uh, this one's a paid feature. Okay, here's a really cool thing you can do. Check this out. You can, you can just get rid of the background. Now you just have a basic color. You can change the color if you want. Real th cool thing you can do is you can add your own pictures. If you click on the backgrounds, you can actually add your own textures. Let's change our title here. You might just pick a fun looking background and be done with it. If you click on uploads, you can actually upload your own images. Or you can search from thousands of different images. Let's 
say you want a mountain boom they have all these free photos that you can use this one looks kind of nice you just click that photo resize it drag it where you want it all of a sudden you have a cool title say you want to get rid of this make it more like a subtitle let's add another text click on the text element and you see they have all sorts of headings subheadings they even have free ones that are already kind of formatted kind of fun some different designs there This one's kind of cool. Let's try this one. Crash button. Boom. Let's change this. Wisdom. Let's do it all caps. Wisdom. Secrets to a better life. And there you go. If you want to change that font, you can change that font, make it a little different. You can see there's just hundreds of different options you can choose from. Real easy, already laid out for you. There you have it. And boom, if you're if you're happy with that, you got a sermon graphic. You can move it around, you can tweak it, you can change the colors if you want. There's a ton of different options. Maybe you want to make it a little bit more transparent. You can see through it a little bit, see the picture behind it. Give it a little bit of a fun different effect. Alright, so as you can see. Just by playing around with it, you can create all sorts of different graphics. Real simple, real quick, that look professional quality. Now, if you don't find any pictures that you like in Canva itself, I also recommend a few places that you can go to get some free quality stock photography. You can go to unsplash.com, which is what this is right here. So say you want to look for a guy thinking. You could type in thinking. Here's a bunch of photography you could click on and you could use any of these pictures. Download them for free and use them as the background to your series. Another website that's just a lot like Unsplash you can also go to pixabay.com, the same thing. You can search a bunch of high quality images and download any of these. You can bring them back, import them into Canva, use them as your background, and you are good to go. I like this one. Let's download it. You can pick your options, JPEG, PNG, PDF, just go with the standard JPEG file, download it. It's preparing my design. And boom, it's done. Here is my sermon graphic. Another thing you could do is if you want to create then some slides, maybe you want to have it to put some scripture on there or something you could take your design download the first one you did and then you could make it smaller put the logo up in the corner and then you could overlay sermon text over here maybe you want to add some elements they got some cool elements you can add
you could add a simple there we go you could add a simple shape you want to make it easier to put text on it you can make it dark decrease the transparency a little bit and now all of a sudden you've got yourself a slide template so you could put your text over that in PowerPoint keynote pro presenter whatever it is you use and boom you're done easy enough well there you have it thank you for taking the time to watch this video get on canva.com experiment a little bit play around with it and hopefully you will come up with some amazing sermon graphics and you'll save a whole lot of money and up your sermon graphic game for more articles tips and videos like this just head on over to ProPreacher.com. Till next time. Peace.